Hello, this is Trevor from Telecom Training, and today we're going to talk about Ethernet cables. Now, Ethernet cables are made from twisted pair. Uh, you have two types of twisted pair. You have UTP type twisted pair and STP type twisted pairs. Now, UTP stands for unshielded twisted pair, and STP stands for shielded twisted pair. Now, here's an example of a UTP type cable. Um, you just have an outer jacket with four pairs of twisted wire within the inside. Now each one of these pairs have a different ratio of twists. The first one may be a ratio of 1.1 turns per inch. The second one may be 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 and so on and so forth. Um, every Ethernet cable have four pairs within that cable. Now, and every Ethernet cable is rated for a particular frequency. Let's say this is a, say, a category 5E type cable. And that would be rated for, let's say, 100 megahertz. When a frequency of 100 megahertz is sent through a cable, um, frequency drives current. So let's say the frequency is going through this wire here, and the frequency changes all the time this changes the current. When current changes, it causes an electromagnetic field to, to be developed around this pair of wires here. This electromagnetic field would be radiated on the outside of these wires, inducing the voltage into the nearby parallel wire here. This nearby parallel wire, if it was not twisted, this current would actually go to the receiver and it would cause problems because it would be noise and this will cause slowdowns or even complete failure. But the twist within the pair is designed to cancel this electromagnetic field. And this electromagnetic field is called crosstalk. Now, if we should increase the frequency from, let's say, 100 megahertz to 250 megahertz. Now, this cable is rated for 100 megahertz. But if we increase it to 250, which is not rated for, the current is going to be higher and the magnetic field developed is going to be much stronger. So the induction of voltage into this pair here, which is called crosstalk, as I said before, is going to be much higher than this pair is rated for. And the rating is dependent on how many turns per inch. You see, the higher the frequency, the more turns per inch you got to have in order to handle that higher frequency. So in order to cancel the electromagnetic field from higher frequency, you gotta have more turns per inch. That is how we get a higher rated cable being able to cancel crosstalk between pairs. The higher the frequency, the more turns per inch that you gotta have in order to cancel that um, crosstalk. So because it is not rated for 250 megahertz, this crosstalk will become noise. And as I said before, it could cause the line to fail completely. Okay, now let's go on to the F slash UTP. F stands for foil. And this is foil here right under the outer jacket wrapped around all four pairs of wire within your cable. This is to protect these pairs from external electromagnetic fields. Like an electromagnetic field coming from a power line or electrical motor, fluorescent lights, thermostats, air conditioners, or even microwaves. Now your four twisted pairs here can protect you from some external electromagnetic fields, but they can't be very strong. Um, twisted pair alone wouldn't be able to handle a very strong field. So that's why we need a barrier to prevent that electromagnetic field when it's very strong from getting through the twisted pair. So this is where the foil comes in here. Now here we have another type of barrier. Here we have a metal barrier and this is called S slash UTP. And the S stands for shield. And this is a metal shield instead of foil. And this metal shield is actually better to protect you from very strong electromagnetic fields that a foil can't protect you from. So this shield would be better if you are in an area where you have very strong electromagnetic fields like being around power lines, etc. That would prevent 
that, those electromagnetic fields from getting through the twisted pair. On this one, we have S slash FTP. Now, with S stands for shield, this outer shield protecting you from electromagnetic fields externally to the cable. But FTP, the F in FTP here, is actually foil wrapped around your twisted pair. The purpose of this foil is to prevent crosstalk. Now, I, I'm sure you remember that I said before, twisted pair is supposed to prevent crosstalk. Yes, that is correct. But it becomes a certain point when the twisted pair is, is twist as much as it can be twisted. And the frequency is beyond what the twisted pair can handle. <laughs> if your twisted pair is there and your frequency going through your wire is much higher, it's going to induce a voltage that this twisted pair is not able to handle because you don't have enough twists per inch. Now you need a barrier to stop the transfer of crosstalk to your copper wires between pairs. And last but not least, we have SF slash UTP. S stands for shield, S stands for foil. And we just have twisted pair in here. There's no foil around your, around your twisted pair here, but you have two types of shields blocking external electromagnetic fields from getting through the twisted pair. And this is the metal shield and foil. So this would be a much better cable where you have both metal shield and foil blocking the external electromagnetic fields from getting through to your copper wires. In the next video, I'll be talking about the different types of ethernet cables from category 5E to category 8. If this training has been helpful to you and you would like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so that you'll be alerted as soon as our new videos are released. My name is Trevor from Telecom Training. Thank you for watching.